down. Awesome. So hi, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Angel Alcazar, um, and I am the program specialist here with the Workforce Development and Multicultural Education team at Lurie Children's Hospital. And my colleague is here as well to present. Hi, my name is Lance Pulvera. I'm the program manager on our team. Nice to meet you all, and we look forward to getting to know you. Awesome. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about our history, just so you get to know what we're all about. We're going to talk about our programs. Um, our impact, and then um, at the end, how you can get involved. This is um, in full transparency. This is um, a presentation. Um, we're not going to go through all the presentations. Some of the content in here um, might not be relevant to you all as college students, but we will make sure to um, answer all your questions and we can stay behind for Q&A again. So our mission is to empower students from underrepresented backgrounds and help them discover the unlimited possibilities in healthcare through our workforce development programs. We provide leadership development, real world healthcare industry exposure, training workshops, networking opportunities, and potential for future employment. We're celebrating our 20th year. We were actually, um, for the past 19 years, we were in human resources. We are now part of the Patrick M. McGoon Institute for Healthy Communities, which is an institute that belongs to Lurie Children's Hospital. And it focuses on community health, public health, and um, serving, serving the youth such as yourself. Um, we, sorry, we were created as a response to the rapidly changing patient demographics um, as an effort to increase workforce representation. We started with one program and now we have um, 13 programs going on at all times at Lurie Children's Hospital. Um, if some of these programs you're not a candidate for, but you know someone that is, perhaps a younger sibling, a cousin, um, specifically our high school programs, um, you can still refer them to us. We'll be happy to um, share any information. Um, we are a small team. This is our team. Our director was not able to make it today. Um, she's Maria Rivera. Um, and then Selena, um, she's our program manager, myself, um, program specialist. And then we have two program coordinators, Sharon and Jose. And then we have one program assistant, um, Max and Joseph. So here we're gonna get a little bit more in depth about our programs. Um, we have one elementary school program for grades six through eight. Um, we have five high school programs. Um, they are all of our, I should say um, all of our programs are our, um, the, the centerpiece of all of our programs is really exposure um, and providing you with like a pathway um, to, for how to get to your, to your dream career and also to allow you to network and meet healthcare professionals that are probably working in an area that you want to work in. So for example, discovering healthcare careers, um, they are literally shadowing doctors, nurses, dietitians, um, you name it, they are in there scrubbed up, shadowing. Um, but we also have college programs where you can do that. Um, we have One Summer Chicago, which is a paid, a paid program that's in partnership with the mayor's office. We have Shades for the Future, um, which is also for high school students, um, Empower. Um, some of you might be eligible for this. It's actually ages 17 through 24. So you could very well be a, high, a college student. And this is a paid opportunity. It's for students um, who were previously patients at Lurie Children's Hospital, or you don't have to be a patient or have been seen at Lurie Children's Hospital, but um, for someone who has a mild um, disability where they're still able to perform job tests, um, and it's really a workforce development program. So that program, we are, um, we are recruiting for that program um, as well. I, um, we are, we are going to um, start a second session in the spring. So there's more to come on that. Um, and then we have our mentoring educational development program, which is a mentorship program. Um, Selena, do you want to go over our college programs? Sure. And I just uh, addressed some um, question in the chat as well. So Celeste so will talk more about the CNA opportunity. But yes, for HERO, um, we have two programs or two sessions right now for HERO that happen in our fall and our spring semesters. And that's uh, specifically for our Route Bay college students. So if anyone's from our Route Bay, um, definitely let us know. So that's a great shadowing opportunity for you to get into the OR and also around in different departments in the hospital. And then our inspiring to nurse mentoring opportunity. It's uh, right now it's a virtual mentoring opportunity, but we have had it in the past where you're meeting in person with nurses in the hospital as well. So if you are far along in your nursing career, if you're like in your senior year in nursing program, or if you're in a master's program in, for nursing, um, that's a great opportunity 
that we'll be recruiting for in the late summer. And then you are uh, men linked with a mentor for the whole school year. And then our senior med program is going to be kicking off in the, the winter paired with our champ program. And then um, so I can get to that more with our, our champ one. That one's going to be virtual as well. And then for our CNA and our medical assistant program, these are going to be opportunities that are for our alumni programs. So essentially, we want to continue working with you all. So once you do one program, we want to pipeline you into another program. And as Angel was saying, really help you in that, that career mentoring and making sure you get to your end goal. So as you do one of our other programs, uh, you'll be able to do like a CNA program, a medical assistant program. And then um, those opportunities will give you those certifications to get you those careers in CNA and MA roles. And then looking at our CHAMP program, that one we're recruiting for now as well. So that one's going to be our, our public health, community health program that's going to be done virtually. And um, the application is open for that one. And you'll be learning a lot about like research and be able to do like public health research and learn about a lot of different careers in the community. And then Angel, do you want me to cover anything else? Is that a good overview? No, that was great. Um, the We are actively recruiting for CHAMP. Um, so this is a, um, I just wanted to mention, in addition to the um, content that you're getting within our internships, we also partner with our um, professional development um, or clinical and organizational development uh, staff here at Larry Children's, where they actually come out and teach. Um, they have different workshops, such as um, resume writing, interview preparation, um, and we actually, once you are a part of our programs, you can reach out to us to do a mock interview, to overlook your resume. Um, and we have our own source code within the Leary Children's um, jobs application page. So once you um, do any one of our programs, um, we can't promise you, you know, a job, um, but we, um, we are working very closely with human resources because we want you all to be the next generation of healthcare providers. Um, so we want to make sure that we track how you heard of these programs and we are able to um, perhaps if we know the hiring manager or if we um, are aware of these departments that you're hiring based on you selecting um, how you so when you apply there's a how did you hear about this position question um, our department name actually pops up so if you click on that um, then it, it just gives you um, more of a, a boost at, at potentially getting an interview. Um, so we, we, that's where the workforce development part pops in. For the CHAMP program, um, we are planning, um, so like I said, we are um, a community health institute. So that's all of our community health, public health um, leadership and experts. They come out and they talk to you about um, different, different um, things in, in community health. Some of them are um, community health education, data visualization, um, community health needs assessment, um, advocacy, research. Uh, we have different hubs that, have, that address different public health issues or disparities, such as child, we have a department for childhood obesity, um, for adolescent health, um, for young teen um, pregnant and parenting youth, um, for mental health, that's our Center for Childhood Resilience, and for injury prevention and unintentional violence. So you get to see what we're doing at Larry Children's to address these disparities out in the community. Um, so it's a really cool opportunity. Um, if you follow us on social media, um, you can see um, snippets from um, the previous cohort. They all, um, although it was virtual, um, we also get to go out in the community and actually see each other in person and do community service um, events such as going to um, a food, um, um, sorry, a, a food pantry um, in different communities or um, doing community cleanups. Um, so it's also an opportunity for you, for you to get to know um, different neighborhoods in Chicago. So it is almost like a hybrid, a hybrid opportunity. Um, there aren't a lot of, we're not looking, you know, you don't have to be a valedictorian to be in any of our programs. Let me just say that. We're not looking for, you know, for top, um, you know, we don't, we don't have a really high GPA requirement. As long as you have a 2.75 or above, um, you should be good. But even if you don't, and if you can explain yourself and the application, like still apply. Um, we look at more than your GPA. We also want to get to know you. So we interview everyone. 
Um, and then it's also a great networking opportunity. We have over 100 students that did our programs that are now working full-time at Larry Children's. Um, I myself, I did a program when I was in high school and I, I'm also, um, so I'm also an alumni of our programs. And now I got, you know, to, to um, it, you know, to come back to the department and allow me to get my foot in the door at Larry Children's. Um, and then I think it just might be, you might wanna see a little bit of our impact. Um, oh, this might be a cool slide. These are the departments that we partner with within Larry Children's. So everywhere from admitting to cardiology, to transplant, to otolaryngology. Um, so we are pretty plugged everywhere at Larry Children's, um, which is a really, you know, but we're always looking to partner. And then sometimes we even take field trips to other hospitals, all these other amazing hospitals that um, you already heard from in the introduction. Um, there are, we're all, we're all good friends with each other. So we, uh, we like to partner and see how we can come together and provide opportunities, just like today's event. Um, and then Selena um, leads our, um, our pre and post program assessment and evaluation data. Um, so she's like a, a data superhero and she also has a public health background. So she also leads our research, um, our research um, components for this program. But I just wanted to share um, some of our impact from this past summer. This is um, a total of 126 students. Um, I don't know, Suna, you can probably articulate some of these data points better. We, we, I don't think we have to go through all of them, but mm -hmm. um, whatever you think might be most impactful to share. Yes, and also just to share, as a program participant, we do require a lot of surveys and a lot of like that kind of work from our participants. So like a program reflection and also like pre-post assessment, as Angel said, and trying to, to gear and measure our like um, how our programs are helping you with health career exposure, how they're helping you become more professionally developed, and how do you feel like ready for your careers. So if you can see that 96% uh, of our students uh, thought this was a valuable experience in the summer. So that was with our high school and then our mix of college and high schooler students for one summer. And then also 100% thought that we had um, great speakers that were giving relevant and informative information. And then also 100% would refer this program. So similarly across our programs, you really get high marks with um, that this is a valuable experience and that this is something that they would refer their friends to. So um, we'll have like questions like this too. And so usually it's good, but we like to hear back from our students as well to see what they like about the program so that we can make sure we keep changing and making revisions based on what you need because this program only works if it's doing what you need it to do. So then yes, looking at this at these points as well, um, a lot of our students come in wanting to be uh, nurse practitioners, pediatricians, um, and then also looking at, we do really well at um, boosting like your knowledge and research, your knowledge in health careers and your knowledge in um, like resume or interview prep. So you can look at those things as well and also gain that um, that confidence in being a healthcare professional and really knowing your pathway. And then also looking at this, so um, to highlight the certification part, so in the last bullet, we do provide a lot of certifications virtually and in person. So we want to make sure that we can help you boost your resume and get you ready for the next job. So over the summer, we were able to do like a vaccine ambassadors course. We have naloxone training that we do with our Alice and Medicine team. And then Stop the Bleed training. So a lot of these are internal trainings we can offer. And then um, some virtual ones we can do with our partners as well. So we just wanna make sure we give you exposure to a lot of different opportunities so you can see what you like and for your future healthcare career. Thank you, and I think that's it. I'm gonna stop sharing um, some, um, just in case, um, pro probably we should have covered this. Um, the CHAMP program is not a paid um, internship. We are actively applying for funding. Um, our, our biggest dream is to be able to offer all of our programs um, to offer some sort of scholarship or stipend, um, but it is a minimal, um, commitment as far as your time. It's only two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and the setup is pretty standard. It's just a, um, a guest speaker that talks about a public health um, topic that they are experts in. Um, and then after that, you're gonna do some sort of training. So um, like Selena mentioned, um, we, we do the COVID-19 vaccine ambassador certifications. We can get you um, an IRB, which is um, Institutional Review Board certification for you to be able to, um, to have um, an even better resume that you probably have now if you don't have these courses um, or these certifications. Um, employers do look at that and they can really put you ahead of your competition when you're ready to apply for entry-level jobs um, such as a research coordinator or a research assistant. Um, so um, 
yeah, we are actively, you know, looking for opportunities. So there are other benefits. We also um, mail you um, program supplies to your um, whatever address you're living at uh, within the parameters of the program duration. So, and we also um, cover transportation costs for when we go out and do community service events. But unfortunately, we're not able to pay um, to pay you for for your participation for this program. But once you do this program, um, the other programs that Selena mentioned, such Selena as our mentioned. student aid program or our medical assistant program, um, or really all of our other programs, you are automatically pipeline. So um, you can always reach out to me and say, hey, Angel, I, I did the CHAMP program. I really you know, want to get my foot in the door in healthcare. How do I become a CNA? Um, and then the CNA program actually gives you a small stipend, which is nice, and it's completely free. Um, so we are kind of like a plug for you to get other opportunities that could be paid. Um, and then lastly, even if you're not um, public health or a community health major, we do have a bunch of pre-med students and nursing students that still do CHAMP because as, um, as you'll learn through the CHAMP program, there's such an intersection between public health and um, medicine. So we have um, a mobile health nurse um, or a mobile health program where they go out into the community in a, in a mobile health and they do vaccinations and child health uh, visits. Um, we have um, our, the director of our programs, um, she's a doctor herself. So we have um, a lot of um, doctors that are working in community health. So don't let that discourage you. It's really um, an opportunity for you to learn what the possibilities um, that exist within public health not necessarily, uh, we don't expect you to come in and you know, like be a public health expert. This is what these programs are for. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to start recording now. It's about 12, 16, um, and then we'll take any questions, okay? So I'll start recording right now.